Hi guys, welcome back to Our Budget Life. Today I have Carter and Ammon and we are going to share with you some of our favourite recipes. Open it. Our first re open it. Our first recipe is ambrosia. I've never heard of this anywhere outside of New Zealand, so it might be a New Zealand recipe. Okay. It reminds me of my nana. Um, and our second recipe is going to be Tim Tam balls, probably also a New Zealand Australian recipe. And our last recipe is going to be marshmallow fudge. Chocolate marshmallow fudge, which we're super excited about too. Evan and Carter are going to help me make our first video, making the ambrosia. And then Lily and Oren are going to help us with our next video. Alright, so for ambrosia, it's really, really simple ingredients and really easy to make. First thing you need is one tub of yogurt. Strawberry yogurt tastes the best. It's one kilo. Packet of marshmallows. 500 grams of strawberry, so that's two of the small packets. 600 mils of cream, it doesn't have to be thick of cream, just any cream that's going to whip up. And some chocolate for grating on the top. So Emma, what you have to do is you need to chop up all the strawberries for me, okay? Can you do that? Chop them all up and put them into this bowl. And while Emma is chopping up the strawberries, I'm going to whip the cream. And Cardi, you can chop up the marshmallows. You want to chop the marshmallows? Yeah, where's the marshmallows? There they are. All right, you can chop the marshmallows, or do you want to help chop up the strawberries? Okay. Yeah, I'll get you a spoon, a knife. All right, so now we have our cream nice and whipped. Our, what are these? Our marshmallows chopped and our fruit. We have strawberries and bananas. And now it's the tricky part. Of, well, it's not really tricky. We're going to put it all together. All right, so tip your yogurt into whatever container you are using. Can you scrape it out for me? Good job. Yep, you got that. And then you're going to get your cream. Mama might do this bit, okay? And just... Oops, put it in and you're going to like slowly fold it in don't like go crazy and stir it like a crazy person otherwise it loses all its volume all right so now let's mix it together slowly mix the cream and the yogurt together all right is that good Carter? Carter's down here eating away <laughs> all right that looks good doesn't it Okay, you want to put this, the strawberries in now and the bananas? Yeah, put them in nice and carefully. Whoa, we lost some to the ground. All right, we probably needed a bigger bowl, I think. All right, we're going to put it back into a bigger bowl because we have, just to mix it up, it's a bit hard to mix it up in this little bowl. I thought it'd be all right, but it's not. All right, all right so mix it all up. We've got all our fruit. And now we put our marshmallows in. We have a little less marshmallows because we've had some eaters, haven't we? Mm. All right, mix it all up. Oh, it looks good. Oi, can you grab your fingers out of there? Don't serve this to other people if you have going to have grubby fingers in it. All right, last thing you want to do is you get the chocolate and you grate it on like the small grater. I think it works best. Probably going to have some little fingers eating this too, aren't we? Good. That was our ambrosia recipe. Now it is time for our... Tim Tam Balls! Tim Tam Balls. And I'm going to leave you in the trusty hands of Lily and Oren just to show you how easy it is to make, okay? So what you're going to need is one and a half cups of coconut, and you're going to need two packets of Tim Tams, and one tin of um, coconut milk, and some rulers, and a bag. Yep. Now, first things first, we need to put our Tim Tams into our bags and mash them up with our... Okay, now we are going 
going to take out as much air as possible from our bags and start hitting it. Alright, these are our Tim Tam bowls and you can see them in the fridge and let them rest for two hours. We made 32 of them, I think. Our last recipe is marshmallow chocolate fudge. It's really simple, easy recipe and it tastes so good. It's like nice and it's just perfect and it's really easy and you can't fail with it. What you need is you need sugar, butter, marshmallows, chocolate, evaporated milk and vanilla. All right, so first things first is you need a really heavy bottom cast iron pan or something that's not gonna burn easily on the bottom. If it's too thin, um, you'll burn the fudge and it will not be very good. Um, add in your sugar and your butter. All the kids are wanting to help and as I'm sure many of you are aware, it's quite difficult to do all the cooking with the kids but they all wanted a turn so we just tried to make it work. Um, I couldn't find our can opener so I had to resort to using a knife and the rolling pin. It took me right back to when I was a kid and for a few months we didn't have a can opener for some reason, I'm not sure why, but it did the job. You need three, uh, two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk and you can use the rest later on that night to make mashed potatoes because that's exactly what we did. It makes them extra good. Bring all those ingredients to a boil, it has to be like a rolling boil so not just around the edges and you just let it boil for five minutes. Put on the timer because you need exactly five minutes and you just stir it consistently. Once that five minutes is up, you quickly add, turn off the heat and add in your chocolate and your marshmallows. It's just one packet of chocolate and one packet of and 24 marshmallows. Not one whole packet, just 24 marshmallows exactly. And you stir and stir and stir. The original recipe used marshmallow fluff, but it's really difficult to buy marshmallow fluff here. So I figured out that you need 24 marshmallows to have it just right. Yeah, and just stir until it's dissolved and then pour it into the tray. It's really heavy. Because you use a heavy pot, you probably need someone else to help you. Boron was a great help. And there you have it. You have beautiful chocolate marshmallow fudge. Thanks for watching our video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try some of our recipes and I'm thankful that my little helpers were a great help today. Yay! Don't forget to like, comment, comment and, and subscribe! subscribe.